This week, one of them in public, Palmer Report pointed out that there had to be unknown evidence involved and it would have to surface by the time of Cohen's testimony. Now we're getting answers on how that's going to happen. Our concern was that, because Michael Cohen is a frequent liar who has already pleaded guilty to lying to Congress, his testimony this week won't be given much credibility unless there's evidence to support what he's saying. We pointed out that there was no possible way Robert Mueller and or SDNY would feed Cohen to the wolves by having him walk into his testimony empty-handed. We just didn't know how they'd supply the evidence to make his testimony credible. Now we do. Katie Ann Delanian reported on MSNBC this morning that Michael Cohen will be bringing documents with him to the hearings that will support his testimony. These documents are apparently going to provide evidence of the sordid and chilling stories that Cohen is going to tell about Donald Trump's life of crime. Here's what stands out. W. We can't imagine a scenario in which Michael Cohen is playing Lone Ranger here by printing out a few documents from his laptop at random, which wouldn't help him much. It sounds like Mueller and or SDNY is coordinating with him on this and has provided him with the kind of official documents that'll prove what he's saying. In other words, we're in for some real fireworks and Cohen is bringing the receipts.